Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got another amazing before and after home renovation for you. This one is a fun one. We're working with our partners, Bonnie and Lance on this project. You're not gonna believe how it turns out and stay tuned, huge announcement later in the video. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Stick around. Hey Flipsters, I'm Lauren. And I'm Lincoln and we are happily married. But not to each other. We're old friends from college and we're flipping houses in the Austin, Texas area. And we're taking you along for the ride. At our latest partner subscriber flip, what do you yeah, think? Yeah, kind of cute from the outside. I think it's adorable. I love the mature trees. I think this is a great neighborhood. We're up north of town, but you got a little more space. This is a huge lot for being still kind of close into Austin. You get a lot of bang for your buck land-wise up here. Agreed. Let's go check it out. So what do you think about the house? I think it's cute. It's positioned a little low from the street. I worry about drainage a little bit. It's blocked off by all the foliage and whatnot, right? I feel like it would have more curb appeal if you could just rip out some of these bushes and trim it down a little, yeah? Yeah, agreed. And I don't know how I feel about the uh, turf here on the <laughs> on the front porch. Okay, Astro Turf, we got a little mini golf tournament out yeah, here. Yeah, get your putter, get your ball, you know, just work on your short game. That's a little weird, not my favorite. Also, just hate vinyl plastic siding. Yeah. It feels so cheap, but it's in real good condition if you just pressure wash it. I was gonna say, it's, I don't <sighs> know about good condition, but. And I tell you what, right out of the bat, new windows on an old house like this. Nice. You love to see it. Love to see it. I also like the stone. I think it's very cool, very Austin. So this is a three bed, two bath, 1400 square foot house. It was built in 1962. Purchase price on the house was 455,000. Can't wait to get inside. Let's see what it's like. Okay, moving inside or oh. are we still outside? <laughs> <laughs> it's got a very earthy feel. I mean, I don't know. All of a sudden I want to eat Lucky Charms. Between the AstroTurf and this green carpet, I mean, it feels like Ireland in here. <laughs> He is. The it's luck like, of the Irish. It's like Irish spring up in here. It's got that green Petri dish vibe, yeah? It's got that green carpet smell. Ooh, Ooh. right when you walk in, it does hit you. And it is wall-to-wall -wall carpet, the peak of luxury in 1962. They were living large. Speaking of, walking straight in on your living space. Right out of the gate, not too bad. It's a good space, it's nice and open. I don't know if this was opened up at some point, but I'm impressed. I think it had to have been, because then you kind of move into this extended living situation. Yeah, let's talk about this space. It's a little <laughs> weird. I'm getting the old church vibes. Did you ever have it where they would have like a, a wall that they could uh -huh. partition spaces off into? Yeah, so this would have been perfect for like hosting balls and weddings. You know, those like partitions uh, in the ballroom of the hotel. I gotta give it to them. It makes your space versatile, for sure. It is something. Very church basement vibes. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. See you later. Is this what they call semi-private? <laughs> Emphasis on the semi. And now look, open concept into your, what is this space? I Here's, don't know what this space is. This is weird. It's like, this could be like an office or even a drop zone or something, but it just flows straight into, I guess what should be like a dining space. I'm a little confused here. Yeah. Let's check out the kitchen. The kitchen is quite small. <laughs> What is there to say? I'm confused on the layout here. I guess you had your stove and a hood vent, microwave here, not a dishwasher or a microwave in sight. We will need to accommodate. Bit of a must have these days. People are just lazy these days. Yeah. Before everybody's hand washing their own dishes, cooking their own food. See, this kind of looks like it's a twofold. Like, oh, oh maybe mm. use that as like a rolling, rolling pin. Rolling pin? Yeah. And is this the like where they would keep bread? Is that what this is for? What is this? There's a lot of grandma accoutrement in this kitchen, right? <laughs> I have not seen a bread box in years. Hashtag weird. Bread, I was right. Weird. Let's talk countertops in here. Let's talk countertops. Okay, so the nature theme continues. Mm -hmm. We've got spring on the floors and it's a nice fall foliage on your countertops. Lovely, lovely. They don't make things the way they used to. They you know, really you don't. cannot get this today. It's all like, do you want quartz? Do you want granite? Mm -hmm. I want a fall foliage. I guess they did update the floors in here. This makes me sad to see this. Not that they did a bad job, but it's just like, it doesn't match anything. It's the only thing that was upgraded. It's like- carpet got nasty after a while. I Maybe guess so. Up. Do you think it was carpet in the kitchen? For sure. Oh my God! Okay, but hold on. Before we see the rest of the house, I'm digging this backyard. I mean, check this place out. This is enormous. 
Mmm, bit of a safety hazard with the handrail. Yeah. But I am loving this a lot. It's huge. Look at your outdoor kitchen. Oh, that's special. <laughs> Downside is I can hear a lot of highway noise, but the plus side is you've got tons of space out here. And you can't actually see the highway. You got a little creek out back. I think this is a lovely space. Big mature trees. Shed and the birdhouse have seen better days, but you know, it's not a big deal. Plenty of room for a pool. All right, so let's check out the rest of the house. Before we head down to those back bedrooms, we got to explore this because first of all, there's no doorknob on this door. It's, you just got to kind of pry it open. Hmm, what is that? This is an extension of the kitchen, see? <laughs> this is where your dishwasher <laughs> lives. Awesome! Complete with dishes. Man, there's uh, hiding your dirty dishes and then there's hiding your dirty dishes. I, you know, I sometimes I feel like that when I don't want to do the dishes, I just want to just wheel it out of sight, out of mind. You didn't think I was going to come out with a full set of dishes out of that closet, did you? Come on. I just love what we find in these houses sometimes. You can't make this stuff up, people. Moving, let's follow the carpet. <laughs> follow the green brick road. Okay, so shared bath at the end of the hall. We got to talk about the sink on this bathroom because have you ever seen a kitchen faucet in a hall bath sink? I have not, but it's very versatile. That is a first. What's really odd to me about this bathroom is that it's a mix of old and new. Clearly left the old pull out mirror, this mirror and the little towel rack, but you got a new vanity, new floors, and then you got the- New uh, surround. Yeah, and let me tell you, if you slip in this shower, <laughs> I can't help you, you know? You got handlebars for days in here. Well, you're used to walking on carpet all day long. You gotta have some little grip too. Mm -hmm. I just love how prepared they were. <laughs> I get it, man. You want to slip and fall in that shower. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If an earthquake hits this shower, <laughs> boom, you are set. Even here, you got the main nozzle on a handlebar. That is safety, and I appreciate that. All jokes aside, these are actually very important for accessibility, and that is a big selling feature when we go to list this house. So I'm actually glad this bathroom has these safety handles. Yeah, actually, and they look not too bad as far as uh, handles go, so. I think they're a keeper. Win-win. Well, we could keep it as is, maybe add a shower door on here or get some privacy. At least a pane of glass. Yeah, because they actually spent some money on this. It's not exactly how I would have done a bathroom, but... It ain't bad. It's not terrible. Now this is the one room in the house without carpet. And they went to the trouble to match the floors to the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Didn't extend them into the closet. Why do that? Is it, was this an office? What were they? Why did they need the hardwood in only this bedroom? Riddle me that. But otherwise, in good condition, I think this is probably the most turnkey room in the house. You're probably gonna need lights, floors, doors, and paint, but not bad. Agreed. Moving on to your other bedroom. What is going on here? Yeah, so we had a little bit of termite damage mm -hmm. on this one. They did their damage, so we're gonna have to open up this wall a little bit and see how extensive this damage is, unfortunately. Yikes. It's a big yikes. Overall, decent size on the bedroom. You got light from two sides of a bedroom, which I always think is nice. You know what's interesting is they swapped the windows that didn't bother to swap the window sill. It's because the termites are eating it. I guess. All right, let's go check out the primary suite. This is a good size room. Yeah, it's actually pretty big for a house this age to have a primary suite this size. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, check out this. Groovy. It's like the whole world in your fan. You got the whole <laughs> world in a fan. I don't know if this bathroom was an addition because at one point they ran the drain lines from the water heater and the air conditioner through your primary closet and the primary bathroom. That ain't good. That's weird, <laughs> that right? That ain't good. Well, let's look at the primary bathroom. Oh, this is tight. It's a bit of a galley bathroom. Only one grab bar. Yeah, and you had to take a dump in your shower. Okay, here's my question on the toilet. They clearly moved it from here, but what direction did it face? Because you can't get around it either way. If it's pointing that way, you can't get to your shower. <laughs> if it's pointing this way, you can't either. I don't understand this layout. I don't either. So was it a three bedroom, one bath house and they put this in later? Maybe, except that clearly look at the vanity and the shower are original. So I'm just so confused. Yeah. Either way, I'm thinking it's a pretty easy solution. We could actually just extend this wall out. We got room to work with this bathroom. Agreed. I think that's the saving grace because a primary suite that size is not gonna cut it for the modern buyer. All right, let's go talk about this house because we got a lot of work to do. 
We've got the termites, it needs a new roof, some electrical work, and then of course that bathroom layout needs to be updated. I think layout wise, we don't have to go too crazy with it other than that. We've already got some of our subscriber partners signed up. They're excited about it. So we just need to put together a game plan and get moving. Let's do it. I'm super stoked to work with Bonnie and Lance on this one. They're actually subscriber partners. They've been fans of the show for a while, and so it's really fun to meet them in person. And I get to do this project with them. So cool. They are happily married to each other, and they're interested <laughs> in hanging on to this one as like a short-term rental for their portfolio. So I'm really excited because that's a little bit different element than what we normally do. Don't forget, we still have a big announcement coming. Do you know what it is? I already left a comment <laughs> below. I think you're getting your hair chopped short. Oh, maybe go dye it red? Yeah, that. Could be that. And I'm super excited to have Bonnie in office soon. I can't wait to show her the design I've been working on for this project. I think she's gonna like it. Okay, Bonnie, I'm super excited to show you the design that we came up with for your house. I think it's gonna be really fun. I can't wait to see it. Okay, here's a 3D render of the space. What do you think? It's amazing. So because your house is kind of a 1960s ranch, I was thinking it'd be super fun to go real mid-century modern, especially here in the kitchen. I've got some two-tone cabinet specs. I'm loving the mid-century kitchen. How are you feeling about it? Is this what you had in mind or were you thinking about something different? No, I love it. Seeing the original, it was so closed and dark. This has really opened it up, really stayed with the style of the house. It's perfect. I love the mid-century look. Love the space, love the wood grain. The white countertops really offset that, and I think it's perfect. Yeah, I think the high contrast is gonna look really good here. And then I think we're gonna keep it super simple on the backsplash. We are gonna have to get rid of that dishwasher in the closet, though. Hope that's okay. I don't know, it was kind of nice to have that already, but I, I can live with that. <laughs> so in the living room, we're gonna do some light floors, some okay. white paint, add some can lights, some fans, just kind of update the light fixtures here in the dining room you can see we have a super fun globe light oh beautiful so let's move over to the bedrooms in our secondary bedrooms we're going to keep it super simple again light floors light walls i think it'll just mm -hmm. give it a nice fresh clean look it's nice and bright and in that hall bath it's already kind of updated so i think what we can do is keep what's there existing and work around it that way we're not spending extra money than we need to okay i like that Moving over to the primary bedroom, I really like how wide and expansive this is. Now that bathroom though is a little tight as is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open that up a little bit. Oh, yes, love it. Isn't that way, way yes. better than what's yes. currently there? The bathroom was just cramped and ugly. I'm amazed at how much space there is now. Yeah, I can't believe somebody lived with that for 60 years, to oh, be honest, but was, yeah. we're here to change it and make it better. We're gonna open up that shower. We're gonna add some simple subway tile, do some hexagon tile on the floor, put in a double vanity that's gonna again have that wood grain look and then we'll finish it off with some fun light fixtures and vanity mirrors what do you think i love it okay it's beautiful good this is going to be the wow factor that this house deserves i agree if you're feeling good i'm feeling good let's go ahead and get to work wow right. <laughs> a lot's changed the green carpet is gone got it a big improvement now here. we've got a trench Demo is happening. They're going fast and furious. First thing we did, we opened up this wall and put in this massive beam. We had a beam here before, but I think by deleting this closet where we had our dishwasher before, we got a whole lot more space for the living uh, kitchen area. So it makes a huge difference. All right, so we had a bit of a setback when we opened up the walls to check out the termite damage. We discovered there was no insulation on the entire exterior of this house on these walls. I have no idea how they got away with that. That is crazy. It's the first time I've ever seen that. So that's a huge deal. We're clearly going to have to address that. And we did not factor that into our initial budget. Yikes. We're moving the washer and dryer into the garage. So we have to run a drain line out there. We're also going to have to run an electrical line. But I think that's a much better space in a small house for your washer and dryer. It's than not the closet? <laughs> yeah, it's more ideal. Come check out the primary suite because there's a ton going on in that bathroom. All right, so first things first, we've reframed out and reclaimed about a foot of extra space from the primary suite. Every foot matters in the bathroom. Just it really saying. does. It really does because in here you couldn't even clear the toilet. Now we're plumbing for a double vanity. So we're gonna have actually two sinks, so his and hers, and then moving our toilet slightly over so that you can have a little bit more space. And then a big nice shower. I think we're gonna do maybe like a rainfall waterhead. What are what are those called? Rain shower, rainfall, rainfall faucets. I, it's a waterfall, duh. Oh yeah, a waterfall. It's gonna come from the ceiling and it's gonna be dope as hell but we are doing the rough plumbing for that. So things are going quickly. We've also got the roof off of this place. Check this out. So shingles have been pulled off this thing. We got new ones coming as we speak to re-roof this bad boy. All new roof is gonna make a huge difference. 
Yeah, we gotta hurry because we got storms tonight. Yeesh. We gotta get this thing on there. I think pretty soon we're gonna need to rip out this jungle so you can actually see this house. This is one of our quickest moving projects, man. We're going fast. We're fast and furious. This thing's gonna be a beaut. <laughs> Okay, so I'm standing in some new real estate. Yeah, you used to be the dishwasher's closet. Now it's nice and open. Yep, took that out, took out basically all of the kitchen, ready to put that back in. Cabinets come tomorrow. Yes, and now that we've got the beam up hidden in the ceiling, this whole thing seems so much more open, yep. right? New flooring helps that and fresh coat of paint on the walls. We Looking are good. flying on this thing. One day later, Okay, so cabinets have arrived. We're about to install them. I think they look spiffy. Don't they look nice? We're going two tones. We've got this kind of a beige on the bottom and we're doing a wood tone on the top. Mm -hmm. It's really got that mid-century mod kind of fit, you know, the 60s ranch vibe. Come check out the bathroom because there's a lot of progress in there. Yeah, this bathroom was tight. Yeah, I certainly hope the toilet and the shower wasn't a permanent fixture. <laughs> I'm sure they had a better spot for it, but it couldn't have been much better. That's a two for one. Gross. Okay, so as you'll remember, we expanded this bathroom. Now I've got tile going in. What do you think? I think it's looking sharp. We went kind of with this funky angled pattern, again with the retro vibe. What do you think? So you gotta go like this. <laughs> and then back like this. You might get seasick in your shower. But I like it contrasted with this like dark um, tile on the floor. We gotta get our vanity in. We've got some pretty cool vanity lights going in there. We're close. Yeah, we uh, still have a lot of work to do, but we are flying on this one and I'm ready to get it all the way wrapped. You know what we need right now, right? It's that time. Wrap up montage, let's go. Okay, we've kept you on suspense long enough. The big reveal of our announcement is here in three, two, one. We're on a mission to revitalize an entire generation of houses for modern living and inspiring futures. That's why we've created Homemade, a turnkey renovation platform that transforms an outdated and frustrating process into a seamless and rewarding experience. We've built Homemade so that we will be with you through every step of the process from finding your property to renovating it to selling it. For years, we've been flipping our own properties and making some uh, truly unique YouTube videos along the way, but by far the most rewarding part of this entire experience has been working with some of you guys to help you get started flipping your first projects. And that's why we're so excited to announce the launch of Homemade, because through Homemade, we'll be able to help so many more people fulfill their dream of renovating their first property. This really encouraged us to say like, hey, this is something we can do. Someone's doing it here in Austin. and we reached out and were able to, to partner with y'all and make this dream a reality. Everyone we communicated with was amazing and super helpful, basically pulling all these moving parts together in what would have been a very complex process for us and made it really turnkey for us. Yeah, I guess we got to miss out on the toughest, hardest parts of dealing with all the contractors. Obviously, renovating an entire generation of houses is a huge undertaking, and that's why we understand the importance of a good partner. That's why we've partnered with the best of the best, Knight. Knight is a juggernaut in the creator-led economy, powering some of the most well-known brands like Mr. Beast Burgers and Feastables. Knight not only represents some of the top creators on YouTube, they are at the forefront of creator-led businesses and they know how to shake up industries. That's why we are so excited to partner with them to change the way that people renovate homes. So if you have always wanted to renovate a property, head over to homemade.co, check it out, apply to be a partner. We would love to work with you to flip your first property. All right, now that the cat's out of the bag for the launch of Homemade, we are equally excited to reveal the transformation of this house. You guys ready? In three, two, one. House is done. Sears looking fresh. It's beautiful. We're loving it. Uh, you can actually see this wall now. <laughs> right? Now we've really revealed the stone. We've replaced that forest green trim with black, which I think is much cooler. And we've upgraded the overall house with obviously a new roof, new garage doors that add some functionality. And now the house really shines. I think that's one of the things we loved most about this was that it actually had a lot of curb appeal with this old school stone. I love it so much. All right, so we're loving the exterior. Can't wait till we get inside. All right, let's, let's look. do it. Oh man, look at this place. What do y'all think? Oh, gorgeous. Nice. This 
is such a transformation. I can't believe we're in the same place, right? It's so much Absolutely. bigger. Doesn't it feel yeah. bigger? It really I thought the is. same thing. And it's funny, once you add furniture, it actually makes the house feel bigger. Yeah, this couch is awesome. And these floors, instead of that avocado, like, <laughs> Plush carpet that was in the here before. indoor grass. Uh -huh, yeah, it was uh -huh. a little AstroTurf vibe. Yeah. Mm. We prefer the green grass outside, yeah. not it's inside the house. Okay, so this is sort of a double reveal, right? Because the house is done, but because y'all are keeping this as an Airbnb, y'all, and when I say y'all, I mean Bonnie has <laughs> staged it and furnished it, and we're seeing your selections for the first time, and I'm loving it so far. Vibes are immaculate. I know, y'all killed it. This is awesome. It's well, got a fun you. Austin Music City vibe to it. <laughs> thank you, that's what we're going for. Yeah, and I think the location, this is gonna be a primo rental for y'all. What'd you do here? There was like a whole apparatus, and now it's open. You're skipping ahead, Lance. We're <laughs> We'll get to it, we'll get to it. So moving into what used to be the dishwasher closet where I'm standing. We really needed that space. It made a lot of mm -hmm. extra room for that whole bar, opened up the living room. And more importantly, we did not need a dishwasher closet. Threw a beam up there, got rid of that closet. I think it really works because now you've got a proper peninsula. And speaking of, let's go see this kitchen. I'm loving this kitchen. Now it's not huge, but you are keeping it as an Airbnb. And so I don't think it needs to be enormous. It's super functional and I'm loving the mid-century design we went with. How are you feeling about it? I think it's fantastic. All the wood grain in here, like I I loved it in the mock-ups we saw. It's even better in person. When I was picking all the furniture and everything, I pulled from the wood grain to tie everything in. So it's really kind of a showpiece in the house. Yeah, these wood grain looking cabinets are a favorite of mine, as well as the two-tone look. We went yes. with kind of a cream on the bottom, which I'm loving. Paired that with a nice white quartz countertop, which I think is always super clean. And then with a little very simple vertical backsplash, but I think it's fun and it works. Longtime viewers will be happy to see there's a fridge in here <laughs> because you guys are hanging on to it. I love this thing. It's got these little pocket handles and look, it's, it's stuck. This is like actually happening. You guys sauce have, is galore. You guys have all of the accoutrement. Four kinds of barbecue sauce. If you're going to stay in Austin, that's a must have. Yeah, wow. exactly. Totally. I love it. It's so much more connected to your living room and now to your dining space, which we should go check out because it's looking amazing. debate about what to do with this space initially. I think when we first heard the house, it was like a secondary living room. Oh, um, no, no, no. You're forgetting the plastic wall. Remember? Oh, the yeah. The accordion wall. plastic wall. How, could you, yeah, 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 yeah. how quickly you forget. I mean, psh. This was the makeshift office, a la accordion door. And now it is your fake plant corner. A much better use of space, if I do say so myself. I think it functions much better as a dining space, yeah? Oh, yeah. totally agree. I love the light fixture. I thought it was fun, has a nice 1960s vibe, but still a modern feel to it. And your vibes for in here are immaculate. You've got ceramic cacti on your table. Tell me about this art. It's it's. Kind of like a Southwestern vibe, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You're really welcoming guests to Austin, to the Southwest experience. I'm loving it. That's the goal. We want to pull everybody in, have you feel nice and homey, sit down with your family, have a nice dinner. And I think you guys did a great job on the furnishings. It's such an art and science. Like, you need stuff that's going to look great, be durable. Also, you don't want to spend a fortune on it because at the end of the day, it is an investment property. Speaking of property, can we talk about your backyard? Because it is awesome. Okay. One thing I love about this house is just the property. This yard is huge. You've got the nice little fire pit for guests. I think it's gonna be perfect. It's gorgeous, yeah, and it backs up to a green belt there, which gives a really nice private feel. Yeah, we cleared out a lot of this brush, so it feels like it's a much bigger yard than it was when we first found it. And now you can actually enjoy the yard. It flows, totally love it. Okay, so living space, indoor and outdoor, is great. Let's go see the bedrooms. Okay, so let's talk about these spare bedrooms. First of all, I think you decorated them so cute. Well, thank you. They've got a nice little Texas vibe, each of them. Second bedroom also has kind of the cowboy western vibe. Mm -hmm. so you got a clean bed in here in both of the spare bedrooms, which I think is awesome for a rental. They're like cohesive, but a little different. Exactly, yeah. We want everybody to feel like they have their own special space. Similar beds, similar comforters, but everything's just a little different. Yeah, I love that. You did a great job. Thanks. Off of your spare bedrooms, we've got this hall bathroom. And this was, to me, the most challenging room, even though we didn't really do anything to it, because you're working with what somebody's already done. It's always a challenge. But y'all did a great job, like this shower door I love with the frosted glass, really kind of makes it more elegant and elevates it. Kind of separates it, gives it a little bit of privacy yeah, too, sure. because keep in mind, you're also staring right down the hall when you look into this bathroom. So, you know, Better safe than sorry on the uh, frosted glass. But at the end of the day, I think it blends with the rest of the house in a very natural way. I don't think anybody's gonna look at this bathroom and be like, 
this totally doesn't fit the vibe of the rest of the house, I think it works. I agree, you blended it well. Okay, the hall bathroom is great, but we gotta get onto the star of the show, the primary suite, y'all. All right, y'all, big reveal, big finale, the primary suite, come on in. We saved the best oh, yeah. for last. This is a big, bright, nice, proper, primary suite. And what is amazing is that you would never know that we actually stole space from the bedroom for that bathroom because the bedroom's still feeling huge. It really is. I was a little concerned. I know when we were first kind of talking about that with that itty bitty skinny bathroom, but it really, like you said, you can't tell this room is massive. And I love that your comforter matches the spare bedroom. That's right. Yes. Very cool. <laughs> and y'all were able to stick a king on the narrow wall, which is amazing because like you said, looking at the space, I wouldn't have even thought that a king could fit. Doesn't this room feel giant? And there's still room on the sides of each bed. I love that y'all have pictures of Austin here. I think your guests are going to enjoy seeing some of our favorite spots. Yep. Austin's a lot about water in the lake. So we're showcasing them there. Let's talk about the bathroom because that I feel like was one of the major upgrades in this house. So I love how this space turned out a little bit different than our render. We ended up going with white vanity in here and marble countertops. We brought in a little bit of the mid-century with the walnut mirrors. I think that was like a nice touch. And of course, some fun globe lights for our vanity lights. Major upgrade was the shower. The thing was TINC before, and now it's nice and expansive. Got some slate looking floors to go with it on, really round it out. It's beautiful. It's got the contrast of the black and the white, the wood grain, the, the round globes that even tie into the dining room. Yep. How often do you see the We're all about dining the room? Cohesion. <laughs> yeah, I love the it. dining room and the bathroom. Okay, well, I think y'all did a fabulous job outfitting this as an Airbnb. I think we should go ahead and talk about when to get this on the market and how to list it. Thank you so much. It was a really a fun and gratifying project. Good. Yeah, we enjoyed it. Hashtag gratifying. <laughs> <laughs> One year later. Hey, tell me about the house. Y'all been y'all been running it as an Airbnb? Like, what's the update? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. We broke even, I think, in month two, mm -hmm. and now we're cash flowing about a thousand dollars a month. Right. To give you some specifics, we have about five thousand dollars in revenue per month, and after everyone's been paid, that's about thirty-five hundred dollars in expenses, uh, and then we have a, a slight management fee in there as well. Uh, so that leaves us a thousand dollars. Uh, either in our pocket or to reinvest, which we've done in some new amenities on the property to take care of families with small children, make it dog friendly and make it great for remote workers as well. Amazing. Knowing everything you know now, would you do it again? Absolutely. Yeah, due to uh, some life changes, a baby being one of them, we are actually going to be moving back to the Austin area to be close to family. So yay. Uh, Congrats. Congrats! Thank you. Oh, What's awesome. your baby? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we'll definitely, is growing. We'll be, definitely be um, looking to expand our portfolio in the Austin area. We're looking forward to just continuing the growth. This has been an amazing learning experience. So great. Thank you all, your dream clients uh, for us, and and we've just loved working with you guys. Uh, you know, throughout this whole process, through during the flip, during the renovation, and and then to hear how successful the Airbnb has been, it's like, you know, awesome. we love it. It has been a major inflection point in our lives going forward. We are full steam like this is what we're doing when we're not at our full time job. So uh, I don't know. I just want to say thank you again for yeah, uh, well, thank you. That's what a cry. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end. And we cannot thank you guys enough for your support throughout the years. This was such a fun, rewarding project to work with Lance and Bonnie. And I'm so excited that through Homemade, we'll be able to work with a lot more of you guys. Thank you for all your support of our channel. It means the world. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Okay, that's all the questions. I, I peace out every time now, I guess. We've just started it's doing that. Thing. Yeah. Uh, no. Do we need an outro or you just, you'll pick something from the episode? I mean, that was the, yeah. That was the outro. I meant no, like the, the, funny the, thing. That'll the be blooper. Oh. Got some slate looking floors to go with it on, really round it out. Didn't extend them into the closet. Okay. Well, okay, wait. But hear me out. <laughs> It'll have I mean, to be a bit. want to say something spontaneous and funny right <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> Come up with a blooper. Do funny? it now. Do Are a we blooper. Funny? <laughs> on cue bloopers.